Welcome to Q Youth Foundation's Eastside Queer Stories Festival Radio Plays. This play mentions a sexual assault. It is intended for mature audiences. The listener is advised. Sun Snapped by Jess Sen. Lately, there's nothing else to do but sit on my bed and think about the past, the good times and the bad, and about where it all went wrong. It all boils down to them. So I call them with a snap. Oscar? What's going on? How did I get here? I have an urgent question for you, Dad. Why did you hit me? What? When? When I was a child. Oh, um, for your own good? Explain yourself. I only hit you whenever you needed to be disciplined. Like when you weren't cleaning your room, or when you were throwing a tantrum. (laughs) When you were being a brat, basically. What about when you were drunk? I... Alright. I went a little overboard when I was drunk. But I was drunk. I wasn't exactly in control. But were you in control of when you got drunk? Uh, Yeah, I suppose. Why did you get drunk so much? Because I I wanted to check out for a while. I'd I'd come home and from work, which was always stressful. The restaurant? The construction site? The warehouse? Any of the other jobs you couldn't hold for long? All of them. They were all stressful. And then I'd come home and sometimes the stress didn't end. You mean me or mom? Oscar. Don't touch me. Just answer the question. Is there a right answer? Your mom, I couldn't control. But at least I can tell her when I wanted to be alone. You were harder. You would always... bug me. But you were easier to correct. So you hit me. You wouldn't learn, so I had to teach you. Did you have to teach me so hard? Did you have to be so stubborn? I just wanted some time to myself. Some time to sit in front of the TV and wind down. Was that too much to ask for? It wasn't like that all the time, you know? We had our good times. You'd entertain yourself with your toys, or you'd sit down and watch TV with me quietly. It wasn't all bad, was it? Do you remember this book? No. Of course you don't, you worthless drunk. Oscar, start cleaning your room right now. Mom! What's going on, Gabriel? What are you doing? He's not listening. He's cleaning his room like he said he would. Oscar, you have to clean your room. I will, but tell him to stop hitting me. Gabriel! I will, I will. Good. Now try to be quiet. I'm trying to write my sermon for Sunday. Well, are you going to start cleaning or what? Right now, chamaco. Or else I'll, I'll rip up your book. Okay, okay. I'll start cleaning. No! Now do you remember? I... I'm sorry. I I was drunk. I I, I didn't know how to deal with you. I I was young when we had you. I I didn't know how hard everything was going to be and how expensive it would be and how much work I would have to... And yet you found the money for alcohol. I know I was a bad father. But I tried to make up for it when you became an adult. I'd take you out to eat, uh, give you money. I would call you every week. We did go for drinks at the bar that one time. Exactly. I tried. Oscar, I I tried. You did try. But she didn't. Who? What the... Hell? What's happening, Oscar? Judgment day, Mom. You and I both know the only one who can judge me is... God. God, why do you love... God, so much. Because he loves us. Let me rephrase. Why do you love God more than you love me? Oscar, I love you a lot. Answer the question. What is the question? I just want what's best for you. I want you to get into heaven. Even if I don't want to? Look, you're an adult. You don't live with me. You can do whatever you want. But what I want for you 
is to not be damned for all eternity. I'm already damned on earth. It's only improved a little since I moved out. It wasn't forced to go to church. What happened, Oscar? You used to enjoy it. Did I? Or was I just faking it the whole time? I loved you. I wanted you to be proud of me. Didn't you see that week after week my morale just got lower and lower? That I never listened to your sermon? That I continuously fell asleep? <laughs> of course I saw it. I just thought you'd grow out of it. That you'd pay attention and you'd finally understand it. You thought it was a phase. Honestly, yes. Did you never believe? That Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior? That I would go to hell if I didn't repent for my sins and get baptized? I did, for a while, but then I grew out of it. It was just a phase. What do you think of my hair? It's nice. You don't think it looks too... gay? Oscar. Mom, come on, let me dye my hair. Oscar, stop asking. Come on, at least tell me why. Because it's going to make you look gay. What? Nah, -uh. I know a guy at school who dyes his hair and he doesn't look gay. Well, on you it will. No, it won't. You're still not dying it. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Mom. What? What would you do if I was? If you were what? If I was gay. You're not. I know, but what would you do if I was? I would kick you out of the house. Until you weren't anymore. Oh. Well, good thing I'm not. But I was, wasn't I? Whether my hair is dyed or not, I look gay because I am gay. I've always been gay. You didn't used to be. Someone put it in your head. Like how someone put it in your mind to love God? I'm not like you, Mom. I use my own mind. I don't just accept everything that society tells me to accept. You don't think I use my own mind? Just because we have different beliefs doesn't mean that I just accept everything that I'm taught. It's a learning process. Whether you used to be gay or not, I know that you are now. And I still love you. Would you still kick me out? You wouldn't live with me anyways. You never even talk to me anymore. And whose fault is that? Yours, mine, both of ours. Oscar, I love you. I do love you. It's just sometimes I can't keep up with you. You can't expect me to change all of a sudden. And I know I can't expect you to change. I know that now. Good. Mirna? Gabriel? I thought I could blame it all on you guys. For a while, I really hated you. It was so easy to push you away. It's so easy that I could do it to anyone now. I was on a date with this guy, Diego. He was nice. I thought I could trust him. He bought me a drink. <laughs> he told me he liked my hair. We were having a good time. Then he kissed me and I kissed him back. We kept kissing and he wanted me and I wanted him. I wasn't ready to lose my virginity. And I told him so. Well, I told him I didn't want to sleep with him that night. And he said that was cool. I walked him back to his place. And on the way there, he kept kissing me. And I enjoyed every minute of it. But he wasn't just kissing me. He was also touching me, grabbing me. But it was okay because I had already told him I wasn't going to sleep with him. Except, the more he did it, the more open I was to the idea. I wanted to wait for the right time, but another part of me asked myself, why wait? I kept telling myself I wasn't going to go into his apartment, but when we got there, I couldn't say no. I told myself I was just going to stay for a few minutes and then leave. That I was only going to kiss him for a bit longer. That we were going to keep things above the waist. That I was going to stop before penetration. I felt gross that night. Not because of the sex, but because I wasn't able to stop myself. But I 
knew it was my own fault and that I would get over it. I told myself tomorrow was another day. You know the thing I wanted most the next day? To call you guys up and tell you all about it. I needed you. But I knew it was just too much information. And I knew you wouldn't come for me. I knew I wasn't a kid anymore. I knew I had to take care of myself because nobody else would. Because you guys didn't. But that's not really taking care of myself, is it? You know that wasn't your fault, right? And that you can talk to us about anything. I wish that were true. It can be. You just have to reach out. And give us time. Not everything can be done with the snap of a finger. Like how not everyone can be corrected by the back of a hand. Or words from a scripture. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to get up the courage and start somewhere. For more information and support, reach out to RAIN, an anti-sexual violence organization, at www.rainn.org, or call the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE. That was Sun Snapped by Jess Sun. Oscar uses a series of finger snaps to interrogate his parents and figure out why they raised him the way they did. Playing Oscar was Nathaniel Martinez. Playing Mirna was Adriana Gordon. Playing Gabriel was Cesar Carmona. Post producer and editor, Edwin Alexis Gomez. Sound director and composer, Ricardo Licea. Artwork by Faye Hernandez. Produced by Abe Zapata Jr., Brandon English, and Ana Bernal. Hi, I'm Ana Bernal, Executive Director and Founder of Youth Foundation. I wanted to give a special thanks to our listeners worldwide. And if you have enjoyed our ESQS series, please consider making a donation to Q Youth. We are a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to building creative and brave spaces for the LGBTQIA plus community. Check out our website at www.qyouthfoundation.org to learn more about us and donate to support our programming. Thank you.